Bape shop owners breathing a bit of a sigh of relief tonight. They started the day thinking they would have to empty their shelves by tomorrow. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps tells us tonight, though, why that is no longer the case and why this fight is far from over. Vape shops across the state enjoyed a victory Thursday afternoon. As soon as I found out the ban was going to be delayed, it was, a, sure? it was a huge relief. Well, a small victory. I was excited, and then at the same time, I was like, it's, it's, it's going to happen again. I'm going to be waiting again to find out if I'm going to lose my business. CJ Johnston is the co-owner of Vapor Trail in South Buffalo. He spent the day preparing for the worst, with a ban on flavored e-cigarettes set to go into effect on Friday. We let our employees know that we were going to have to let go of them. As soon as our flavors were gone, that's 90% of our business gone instantly. Can you imagine being a pizzeria and you can't sell pizza anymore? His customers were also getting ready for the ban. People have been coming in, buying in bulk, buying in bulk because they're afraid. And every day a customer comes in here, they give me their condolences. They're ready to cry. They shake my hand. They say they're so sorry. They can't believe this happened. They're angry. But Vapor Trail will live to see another day. After the court granted the restraining order, the health department responded in a statement saying it's undeniable that the vaping industry is using e-cigarettes to target young people. The state health commissioner says he's confident that once the court hears their argument, they will win. Meantime, supporters of the vape industry say they want to work with the state on a solution. If we're ever able to sit down with the governor and the health department, um, I think we need to regulate the number of shops so that we make sure that this product is not getting into the hands of children. Fully open for regulation. I want to stay for the long haul. I want to continue to help people. I don't want to feel like I'm a criminal. And that's what the government is doing to me. It's making me feel like I'm a criminal. Owners tell me they'll continue business as usual until the matter goes back to the courts on October 18th. But they still fear that their shop is in danger. Live in the studio, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.